Changing lives, it's one way a Central Indiana nonprofit feels their work has given back to the community. As WRTV reporter Nikki Dementri told you earlier this week, the need for winter shoes is great at Camp Atterbury. Tonight, she's spotlighting Changing Footprints, who is looking to the community to help give them back through shoe donations. Brad Jackson is a retired teacher. Cowboy boots. We love cowboy boots. He spends much of his time now giving back. When a load comes in from somebody, um, sometimes we go through and find something that we're looking for for that day to fill that order. Jackson is part of Changing Footprints. The volunteer-based Central Indiana nonprofit collects, refurbishes, and redistributes footwear from sneakers to dress shoes to organizations in need. When I heard Afghanistan, that the people were going to come here, refugees were going to come here, immediately, I thought, maybe there's a place for us in this. So far, Changing Footprints donated 2,000 shoes to Afghan evacuees at Camp Atterbury through Team Rubicon. Now, the mission is to provide another 1,000 pairs of winter-ready footwear to the remaining 5,000 evacuees on base. For this special project, we know they're going to people who need them, and they need them now. And so that does make it really exciting. There are about 4,000 shoes in these garbage bags. Now, the hope is that some of these shoes, maybe 400, 600 of them, go to men, women, and children at Camp Atterbury. It really is full circle. 16 years ago, the nonprofit was started by Bob Broughton and a colleague after they saw a news story on Afghan children without shoes. And here we are 16 years later, and it could be some of those same people who are now going to be immigrants to America, and we have our opportunity to to help them here in person. It's a great opportunity. This project is one of the largest it'll tackle this year, and the nonprofit is asking the community helps by donating new or used shoes or their time through volunteering. But what we most need for the next couple weeks are weather outside shoes. So that would be dress shoes without heels, casual shoes, tennis shoes, and potentially snow boots. This year alone, Changing Footprints is providing 75,000 total pairs of shoes statewide. And by next August, the organization is on track to donate 500,000 shoes since it started. Yeah, we, we do feel like we're helping change lives. There are so many organizations out there that, that are doing what we do in their own area. But um, we're proud to make a difference. Working for you, Nikki Dementri, WRTV. Changing Footprints asks those who would like to donate shoes to help the cause to do so directly at their drop-off locations rather than to armories. We have drop-off locations and how you can sign up to volunteer at WRTV.com. The organization is also looking for volunteers to help sort and clean donated shoes.